Hello, welcome to Micro TV. My name is Miguel Mendoza. I'm marketing manager here at Micrell. Today I'm going to talk to you about MOSFET drivers, specifically half fresh drivers. I'm going to give you some examples of applications and show you some of the value that we bring to those applications. And I'm actually going to show you a demo as well. So let's get started. Micrell offers four MOSFET driver families, the half reach, the low side, and the high side and the MOSFET drivers that can both drive high side and low side. For today's presentation, I'm going to focus on the half bridge drivers. This slide shows how the part numbers correlate to the application. For example, the MIC4100 family uh, drives for the predominantly base station power supplies, inverters, telecom power supplies, and we have a unique device, the MIC4102, that has the active anti-shoot-through that we'll talk about in a different presentation, but that was something that, it, that, should, that should interest you, but that, that typically that's really best suited for telecom and networking power supplies for synchronous power supply applications. And then I get to talk about a new device that we just released, the MIC4604, that is for specific focus for motor drives. So in a power supply application, MOSFET drivers are used to route current. In this example, I have a 48 volt input and I want to get a 12 volt output. The MOSFET for the month are used to route the current appropriately so they can in a sense provide the power supply. And now I'm not going to get into the details, but I just want to give you an example where these MOSFET drivers are used. For example, the 4102. Also, MOSFET drivers are also used to use the current limit, such as shown in this example here. In motor drive applications, MOSFET drivers are also used to route the current, just like shown here. And by routing the current effectively, you can actually rotate the motor clockwise. And by routing the current the, the opposite way, as shown in this example, you can turn the motor counterclockwise, as shown here. Now, let's talk about the parametric table so we can differentiate between the product families. The 4100 family has a lot of, a lot of capability of driving very fast. So for example, the 4101 can drive up to three, 41 can drive two amps, and the 4102 and the 4103 and four can drive up to uh, three amps. That allows to be able to switch at very fast speeds, typically used in power supplies to keep the efficiency really high. So let's talk about the, some of the considerations in power supplies. They definitely need a lot more uh, drivability so they can overcome the input capacitance of the MOSFETs and they also need to switch at very high speeds typically about 300 kilohertz and some even as high as 500 kilohertz and they need the 100 volt uh, operation so they can address some of the telecom applications now for motor drive they don't need to switch that fast they, they also need they, they also have the ability to be they also want to be able to switch at a lower gate to source voltage so they can use uh, take advantage of some of the lithium ion, ion batteries as well as some of the NICAD batteries. So let's look at some of the considerations for motor drive. So they typically they don't drive as fast so they don't need to have such high current sink and they don't necessarily have to have the, the higher voltage so 85 volts is plenty of margin so they can uh, and say account for any kind of back EMF but what they do need they need, they need a lower gate drive. That way they can take advantage of the power supply packs that are available so they don't have to boost up the voltage like they do for the power supply applications. So let's talk about programmable gate drive. Programmable gate drive effectively allows your VDD voltage to become your gate to source voltage. So why do we do that? Why not just put an LDO and just set the, VD, the gate to source voltage at one single uh, level? There's some devices that are like that, but in this case, what we like to do is allow our customers to choose the appropriate gate to source voltage so they can take advantage of the lowest RDS on. For example, in a 4899 MOSFET, if you drive it at 10 volts, you can effectively get the uh, gate resist or, or uh, <coughs> RDS on resistance of 4 milliohms. In some applications, you might be able to be drive it at 7 volts, and you can take a little bit of penalty on the RDS on, but not much. But in motor drives, where you're using maybe two lithium batteries, you might be able to want to take advantage of a lower gate to source voltage, for example, 5.5. You take a little bit of penalty, a little bit above five milliohms of RDS sound resistance and lose, lose a little bit of efficiency, but you can have more utility, more runtime. So to summarize, you can program the gate to source voltage to get the desired RDS sound that you can live with and be able to get them as much utility out of your product. So let's talk about some, another issue, cross-conduction. That's when you're 
you get an effectively a short. That's catastrophic. You don't want that. And how do you deal with it? Well, in most cases, they add some dead time, which means that you add a little bit of time delay between the transitions between your high side driver and your low side driver, typically done right in the input. So let's get started. 4604, just really, it's an 85 volt device dedicated for motor drive, and it has four key features. It has a programmable gate drive, and what's key here is that it could drive as low as 5.5 volts, which I'm gonna give you a demonstration. It also has a under voltage lockout. That means it actually will turn, it actually clamps or stops the, the operation when it reaches that lockout, and then you have to exceed to get it back to start it. It's an 85 volt operation, so it can handle any back EMF from any battery source that, that's available in the market. And it's offered in a very small package, so it can get into some small form factor designs that are out there today. So let me get started with the demo. Here we have the demonstration for the 4604. In this case, what we did is a little mock-up of a motor drive uh, using our EV kit. We're using two lithium batteries, which add up to about 7.4 volts. And we're using a motor that I got from a drill. So effectively, you turn on the switch, there you go. You have control, you have plenty of torque. So let me, let me, so what I want to show is the benefit of having programmable gate drive first that you can actually drive right off the two lithium batteries. You can drive the motor. So that's, so effectively I'm driving the gate to source of 7.4 that you don't have to use to boost like you do with some of the other uh, competitive devices. But let's admit, but let's talk about the lower under voltage lockout. Since this device is set, operates as low as 5.5, we have the under voltage lockout around 4.6, 4.7 volts. And I want to show you that so you can, in a sense, mimic a battery that is already decaying but still being driven the motor. So let's start, let's start, let's start that. So effectively, we're going to remove the battery pack. We're going to connect. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to be increasing the voltage. So let's, let's start with... Uh, 7.4. So, as you can see, I have a 7.4 just like the battery. Now, let's just say you've been driving, working on the, in the field, and the and you're actually battery decaying. 6.8, 6.6, 6.5. until we get to the under voltage lockout. Right now we're at 5.5, the device turns off, and then you have to go through some history just to get it to turn on, typically a little bit about five volts, and we're back on. So now we're able to operate a motor directly from the power supply, the, the battery supply, no boost needed. You can drive gate to source, 5.5 gives you the most longer runtime by being able to give you the ability to drive it low, even though it's a little slower, because obviously the more voltage, the faster you can turn it and you can rotate the motor, but still allow you to work a little longer with you, you got a little bit more charge time. All right, this concludes our demonstration. Thank you and have a good day.